Welcome everybody to Face to Face Talk Show with your boy DJ Jones, man. I have another special guest in the building coming all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. DJ J Retro, man. What's going on? What's going on? Nah, uh, thanks for coming through, man. You know, this is something we're trying to kick off in a, in a major way, man. I appreciate you coming all the way from Baltimore yeah, 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 in the yeah. rain to come holler at your boy, man. Yo, the rain was wild. It was <laughs> mad puddles. It was crazy mad puddles. I made it, though. I made it. I'm glad yeah. I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. So what's good, man? Like, what's what's going on, man? I mean, you haven't um, physically done anything in a minute, but, you know, we, 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 we stay in contact. So yeah, yeah. what's going on? It's been a lot, man. I just launched out this fashion hustler thing. I'm um, we'll definitely talk about that. So I started doing sneakers now. Okay. That's my thing. I'm still DJing. Okay. I got to let the people know how we first interacted, too. Right. I still remember that party, too. Yo, hold on. What party was it? So it was when you, it was like, you were doing a tour, and it was when you was rocking with uh, Big Mike, the hype man. And I remember I hit you up on Facebook, like, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to see what's up with it. And then, yeah, yeah I remember because I was like, yeah. I remember I hit you up on Facebook like, yeah, I want to kind of see if I can DJ or something like that. Right. to come out. But, you know, you ain't know me from a can of paint. <laughs> so he looked me up and then I was like, I guess I was moving different because I know a lot of, like at the time I had the website out. I had my right. IG. I separated from right. my personal face. Right. So then you were like, yeah, come open up for me. So I opened up. I brought my NS7s. Okay. And yeah, it was cool. And then y'all pulled up. And I remember I was on the floor. What what <laughs> spot? Table. What spot? Oh, I, yeah, you know what I'm talking it about. Was it was the after was hour. Yeah. It was the after hour spot, right? Yeah, it was the after hour. Okay, spot. I remember yeah. now. I remember now. It was something after. wild happened at the end. Yeah, something yeah, wild. Somebody, that was my birthday. Wasn't my birthday? It was your birthday, and then it was like your, I think it was your last stop. Yeah. And then I was you're like, right. I held it down for you while y'all y'all was. Yeah, you are right. That was my last stop on the tour. That was my birthday, and yeah, I it was lit. Okay. It was definitely lit, yeah. And yep. it was like, okay, because ain't nobody knew who I was. They just saw, because y'all had the whole stage. I yeah. Think Showtime was there. Showtime was there. there. Big yeah. Mike was there. Shout out to DJ Showtime. Shout out to Mike. Uh, yeah, we tore that thing down. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so that was a minute ago. That was like. That was a while ago. That was like. Three years? Yeah, three years ago. Three years ago. ago. Ever since then, like, I mean, yeah, we've been working. That's what's up, man. That's And, and that's the beauty, man, like, of, of meeting people, um, online or however you do and just and just you know connected with them and just keeping a relationship you know what i mean so yeah that's what's up man and then um and then we did uh uh what was the place bollywood yeah I remember bollywood that. we did that uh, yeah that yeah. was that was big that was I know big. that was like that was the first time first know, time the, first yeah, time first right. time abino was in there wasn't he I, th- I think he showed up. He showed up. He did something there. I remember. Yeah. It, I was like, then I, I felt accomplished about it because I felt like I made a lane. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was a new spot, and it was like, yeah. Arugas some, yeah. It could have gave Arugas some yeah. problems. So I, I don't like, even think I was doing Arugas then, or was I? Or maybe I, I think I just started doing Arugas then. Yeah, I don't know, if, but I know we were like literally like right down there, and I made the flyer and all that. Yeah. And I yeah. Had my bro Rico. Yeah. Um, yeah That's what's up. That's what's that up. Yeah. All right, so talk to me about this sneaker game. Um, for those who don't know, man, I got shot at my boy, man. Uh, uh, Icon four one one, all star. Uh, he's a sneakerhead too. So tell me about this sneaker games you got going on. So right now, yeah, I'm on Fashion Hustler. You can check out the site fashionhustler.com. Uh, IG Fashion Hustler, all one word. We got a Facebook fan page. So. Pretty much what I'm trying to do. I'm pretty new to the game, but I know it's like enticing. I see how everything's moving, and then I, I started looking at StockX. I still think about like the commercial they had, like Wale doing it. Right. So I'm like, yo, and I just felt like yo, the, the sneaker game is very lucrative. Right. It's a great opportunity, and then like I always wanted to step my game up. Remember, I always wanted to get my sneaker game up back when I was a kid. I never really had right. like, crazy pairs, so it's a new thing. And then I started hanging out with sneakerheads. Right. And then it just became infectious. Because naturally I wasn't one, but like the more I started hanging out right. with them, they're like, yo, next thing you know I'm driving out to Richmond, so right. the sneaker shop. So it's like it kind of grew on me, so I decided to make a business out of it. So how how does it go? Because I'm not a sneakerhead. Okay. Although yeah. low key, I'll be putting some shit together. Right? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> low key. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not a sneakerhead. I, I'm not a sneakerhead at all. So how how does it work? I have a sneakerhead guy though. I got a sneaker connect. Okay. So how, how how do you make money? I mean, honestly, like I just launched this site, like I would say two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So for now, like I'm really just trying to build up the brand right now. Just kind of really working on the advertising, you know, like 
pretty much you just get the sneakers and then you just kind of offer them in a price like i i use shopify for mine mm -hmm. for everything so i kind of just made like a little storefront that's what it is okay i buys everything online so it's like right no right really going into like spots and right. they try and get like right they trying to resell or flip right so yeah and then there's a lot of there's still a lot of places it's not like in baltimore there's still some sneaker spots out there that do it for great prices you right know what i'm saying so like i base my prices off of stock X. So like you know, StockX. Is what is stock? I never. What is stock? So StockX is like kind of, it's like the stock exchange for sneakers. Really? Yeah. So it's it's crazy when I think <laughs> about it. It's like yo, like you can really, oh uh, like um, I think the Prestos, the Prestos go for um, I think we were just talking about it was like seven something, like seven twenty, mm -hmm. for like the Presto Blacks. Right. And then like you can actually see like little like tickers and everything, seeing how the price goes up. So it's crazy. So yeah. Like, it's like. Kind of like stocks, cause I was kind of into things right. like that with it. I got a lot of friends into it, but it's like for sneakers. So right. It's cool. So for somebody who has like some hot sneakers that they don't really wear or in good condition, mm -hmm. they should hold on to them. I mean, yeah, you never know. Like it depends. They, they gotta be stuff that's kind of popular, or stuff that may be rare. I feel like you know right. it depends though. It really depends on like the type of sneaker. I mean, you gotta do your homework with it. I mean, right. if I were a new person really getting into it, and I kind of am. The best thing I would tell people to do is just kind of hang out with sneakerheads, read like sneakerhead like articles, magazines, really right. get informed about the culture of it, and like you know, don't I mean hype beasts are cool, you know, there's definitely nothing wrong with being a hype beast, but you know, just kind of be aware of the culture, right? It's like it's deeper than just kicks, you know what I'm saying? Right. People, it's a lifestyle, and I'm I'm still new to it, but I'm starting to learn it, like. And I'm, and it's kind of ties in tandem with everything with music and everything. It's like very hip hop. Based. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I, I mean, <clears throat> back in the day, man, when I was in school, mm -hmm. I had all the J's. Well, not all oh, of them. But you said you wasn't sneakerhead. No, it was just back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, you got to prove point when you, you know, okay. high school. Yeah. You got to let them know. Yeah. All right. So I was letting them know when the uh. jersey was coming out. <laughs> but now I just, um, I, th this is me, right? Uh. If everybody has this kind of sneaker or this style, I try to go the other way. I try to go the other way with my pockets. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, um, I, I am a fan of the Jordans, okay. but I feel like. It's too many of them. I feel like it's too many variations, right? And everybody has them. You know what I mean? So it's like for me, it's like it's not that exclusive. I just been put onto the whole Yeezy, the Yeezy bus. Okay. Yeah. Not he got he got some he got he got some other one. Not the three. I like the three fifties, the five fifties, and uh, all the other stuff. I don't know if I like them, mm -hmm. but I do like the three fifties. Yeah. The I like how they fit. Okay. I like the colors, mm -hmm. and I like you don't see them every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you got Yeezy on, on your site? Yeah, I do. I you do. do? Yeah, I do. So I and I actually um I just did a giveaway. I did a giveaway and I um announced the winner. Uh, shouts out to Real Ronan. He's actually a friend of mine. And you know I definitely want to address this too because a lot of people because I promoted his album too because he was also launching an album. What's his name? Uh, Real Ronan. Real Ronan. Shout out to Real Ronan. Yeah. So he actually won. And a lot of people were like, uh, I don't know, because you just posted it. Right, album, right, right. Yeah, it, and looked, and look I, yeah, it looked sketchy. It looks sketchy, but I'm like, nah, like, it's <laughs> official to was it? Was it sketchy? Nah, it wasn't sketchy. Nah. nah. Right answer. Don't, even if it was sketchy, it wasn't sketchy. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> right. So I'm just like, yo, listen, like, I wanted to address that. Like, yo, he won fair and square. How right. I did it was like, and you can go on the Instagram page and see it. But like I had it, so you kind of like the picture, you followed the, the actual page, and then after that, how we did it was like you just comment your size. Right. And then people, and I did it like multiple posts, so it Word. was like a few like entries in there. Some people were DMing me, and I told them like you increase your chances if you repost it. Cause right. Kind of go using the hashtag, because you know, right. I had, like I think it was Fashion Hustle and Easy Giveaway. Mm -hmm. So then after that, like I just gave like the pair of Oreos. Okay. Just, like cool, you know, just like. The Yeezys. Yeah, Yeezys, yeah, I just like. So you got so listen, my <laughs> my sneaker guy, man. He listen, okay. my sneaker guy. He's a friend of mine. Okay. He's a long time friend. Okay. Uh, I'm still waiting on my sneakers though. Oh. So. <laughs> I, he probably he probably watching this. If he is watching this. Yeah. Hey, listen, I like Yeezys, man. I need listen. I went. I just had my 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 past weekend was lit. Okay. My past three days. My past well every weekend is, is lit. Oh, of course. 
Well, me, I was trying to hurt them this weekend. Oh, is that right? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't get my Yeezys, man. Mm. They ain't come in. So, what Yeezys you got? What 350s you got? <laughs> Yo, I got I got the Beluga 2.0s and then I got the Oreos. So I don't even know what the Oreos look, look like. What color are they? They're the black and white ones, yeah. Are, are they calling the Oreos? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or are they so, called something else? No, I mean, they, um, they're they like the 350 Boost uh, Core Black. So, yeah. And you got all right. So somebody wanted me to know, or somebody wanted to ask me if you had kids. Uh, or is it kid sizes for Yeezys or not? I'm pretty sure they got kid sizes. I mean, you I know, never seen like, a kid oh, with them. Kids like this parents that really want to like hype their kids up, right? And, um, fresh at the young age. Yeah, that happens a lot because they just want them to flex on Instagram, I guess. But right. I think that I've seen it happen before. Somebody, um, I think it was a girl asked if, if uh, they had they sold kid sizes because I think their their foot. It's like a kid something you know what i mean and i'm like i don't know i never seen any kids with Yeezy, any privileged kids all right with Yeezy. Right. haven't came across that yeah. but uh so you got all sizes like so if i'm like you got half sizes full at the whole nine yards so i started at 6 to 12 and i'm kind of working it from there but like i'm trying to work my way around it so right i can get it right now i got 6 to 12. So I'm trying to work my way so I can get a little bit of a wider range because I remember when I was at uh, at this hookah bar and I was talking about the site, somebody overheard me, he's like a big dude, like 6'7". Right. He's like, yo, you got size 14s. So I was like, I'm right. like yeah, I don't right, know. Right, right, right. I'm working on, it's like the bigger shoes. And like, right. Yeah, so because they, they make less of those. Like when you go to like the sneaker spots, like the bigger size, they be carrying less. Right. Like, that's why it's so hard. It's right. so much harder. <clears throat> All right, cool, cool, yeah. man. So, uh, you originally from Baltimore? Uh, so I was born in Philly. In Philly, and okay. I was raised out in Baltimore. Okay, so okay. I moved out there when I was like in middle school, and I just kind of stayed out there. And then I went to college. I popped back down. To PA, right. And that's how we met. Right. Yeah. So what else is uh you know you got the sneaker thing, um, you DJing. What else is going on? So sneaker thing, DJing. I um I also started podcasting as well. So okay. Actually, What's the name of your podcast? Uh, it's called Talking Smoke. Talking smoke. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, talking yeah. smoke. Shout out to talking smoke. How often do you guys do it? <clears throat> we uh every day. We do every week. Uh, Monday around 10 p.m. Uh, yeah. 10:30. We do 10:30, and we're trying to start doing Fridays. Too. Okay. So it's me, and then it's my bro um, Don Giuliano, Drewski0126, my bro Tom Guns, aka the Hookah Hokage. Uh, he's out here. Um, Tom Guns on IG, Tom underscore Guns, and we just pretty much talk about like you know pop culture. We talk about hookah. Every episode, our kind of like unique niche with it is we always are smoking hookah. Right. So yeah, you've been episode. doing. Yeah, you rocking a hookah. So I think yeah, I met you. You was yeah. like yeah, hookah, hookah life. <laughs> I've been on that. Yeah, hookah I've been life. Definitely on that life. Yeah, but it's it's crazy. The hookah thing is what I do with that. It's like. At first, it started with a hobby. Mm -hmm. Like, and I started when I actually was in out Penn State, so I was out of Penn State. But you know, when I was out there, I first tried hookah, and mm -hmm. then from there, like, it kind of grew on me. I bought my own. Mm -hmm. I started going to spots, mm -hmm. and then after that, it was just like, you know, I met some people when I was out in Baltimore. I used to frequent at this hookah lounge, called mm -hmm. Hookah Lounge. Uh, you know, shouts out to them. Hopefully, they get that back running again. Something happened with that. So. That's what's up, man. Like most things start as a hobby. Yeah, definitely. most like I think those are the best uh, things to get into. Invest a lot of your time in is something that's obviously, obviously, if it's a hobby, it's it's fun to you. Mm -hmm. It's you know what I mean. It's entertaining. You enjoy doing it, and that's all I do, man. Everything that I do, I I literally cannot do anything I'm not happy at. Right. I can't. I can't, man. I'm not. You know, I've had plenty of jobs, man, and I got fired from every last one of them. Maybe one job I put my two weeks in, but I didn't complete the two weeks. So, you know, whatever, right? Bounce. Right. But it's like, <clears throat> you know, just doing things that just make you happy, man. I'm real big on happiness, man. And that's and that's one of the things that, you know, we're doing with the show. For people who just tuned in, um, I'm here with DJ J Retro, man, talking about his sneaker game and his uh, DJ game. But this whole, this whole show, this face-to-face -face talk show that I'm doing is literally for people to get this stuff out people to get their ideas out people to get their their brands out some messages out um you know to the masses you get what i'm saying and and a chance for me to connect for some people you know what i mean um because everybody has a story everybody has a journey 
You know what I mean? And I feel like the next person can benefit off of hearing somebody's story. You know what I mean? So that's 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 one of the main reasons why I wanted to hold, you know do this whole face to face talk show. That's and that's what we're doing, man. Like we got a lot of people coming on the show, and I want it to be people coming back. You got something going on? Bring uh, the whole talking smoke crew in here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and we'll yeah. and we'll talk smoke up in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bring some Yeezys with you. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I might grab. How much? How much they going for? If I wanted, you know what I'm saying. If some, I know kind of an idea, but if somebody who has no idea about the Yeezy game, how much they running for these days? I mean, basically, like I said, on mine, I base it off of StockX. So, like, if anybody really wanted to learn about it, plus there's places that resell it, and you know, you can get them used if you care about that, you know. Right. But um, that's usually how it is. You just flip them. Um, but I always tell people that you know, if you're kind of curious about it, just go on StockX and kind of see how the prices, and then. I try to align my prices like that. So how they go on there, I try to kind of match it up to that. Right. Yeah. Right. Just so I, you know, I, I right. like how it is. It's very seen. And then right. I'm still getting used to everything. I'm still getting into the culture of everything. Right. So like, I really want to base it off of something. Right. So I really get more of my knowledge up with it. You know, right. Like kind of slow rise with it. Right. That's what's yeah, up, man. Yeah. What's What's the next DJ thing you got coming up? So I'm actually um so shouts out to the Schaefer Center. Um, I'm actually my brother's autistic. Okay. So um, it's actually this this event that I'm doing right now. It's it really means a lot to me because okay. I'm, I'm doing this event. Uh, it's called Schaefer Palooza, and it's like an event where I kind of do music for like the teachers. That's what's up, man. So yeah, it's That's kind of up. me giving back in the same right. time, kind of just you know, right. Giving everybody a little bit more about the world. That's what's involved. up. What's your brother's name? Yeah, his name is Xavier. Xavier, shout out to Xavier. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's up. Yeah, yeah. When's that? So that's actually uh, this Friday coming. Oh, this Friday up. coming up. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I just cop some S nines. Did you? I did. I financed them, and I'm like, all right, cool. They come in six days. So I'm like, I know I was talking about right. it in the chat. So I'm like, I like, I like, I like the rain though. I like the the, the new twelve. Yeah. The new, the new seven two and twelve. I don't. My boy has them. My boy uh, DJ Matt. Shout out to DJ Matt. Okay. He just he just DJ the Diamond Cuts event uh, last night at the Village. Shout out to him. Shout out to uh, Big Al. Shout out to Social Life. That joint was crazy. Yeah. Um. Uh. But yeah, he got the whole. He just got the set in too, like last week. So we all supposed to be going over his crib this week mm -hmm. and messing around with him. Um. That's the set I want to get. You know what I mean? I like S9 though. I like S9. But I'm just like you know, it's like. S9 came out with this mixer um, when Sir, uh, Sir I mean Rain had what was it 62 and then the S9 because basically the, the, the new Rain is similar to the S9 mm -hmm. just got you know more stuff but the S9 kind of like changed the game so everybody who was literally like Rain Rain fans had to rock with the S9 because it was like it was dope yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but I mean, to each your own, you know what I mean? They both good mixers, you know what I mean? I can get down on both, but I'm definitely, I'm just a, you know, rain fan, you know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, yeah. trying to get that set, it costs a couple of dollars. You know what uh, I mean? A couple? <laughs> yeah, yeah it costs, it costs a couple of dollars. Yeah, yeah. It costs a couple of dollars, man. Yeah. But that's what's up, man. Um, What else? Before we head up out of here, man, what else you want to talk about? That's really what I got, man. I'm, that's what I'm focused on, man. I'm just thankful for having you, you know, bringing me out here. I, the drive was crazy, but yeah. I made it over here. I appreciate you, man. You know I appreciate you. Yeah, um, I appreciate you, man. Let's let's drop your stuff again. What's your tag for the uh, Sneaker Connect? Uh, so the tag for that, you can follow us on IG, Fashion Hustler. You can go on the website, fashionhustler.com. Uh, Facebook fan page as well. You can do that. I'm also, maybe, I'm on the works right now i'm trying to get a lot of stuff going for the site you know it's looking a little plain jane right now so i'm definitely trying listen you, yeah but yeah that's what we're doing man um so again i want to appreciate you for coming out man on this sunday i know it's football's on oh yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying who's your team i'm actually with the eagles, eagles. Yeah. I, really I mean say. i guess i mean i was with it when it was mcnab and all but you that. you from philly though so yeah so you i know what mean but now they got the they got the <laughs> They got the statue out there now. Yeah, yeah. Like that. But shout out. That's, yeah. that's what, that was a big, that was a big. You went to the parade? I didn't go to the parade. parade. I saw, Me I either. was on there via Instagram. I yeah, saw yeah, people yeah. hopping up. Yeah. Me. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Well, I want to thank you for coming out, man. DJ J Retro, face to face talk show, man. It's your boy DJ Jones, man. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, man. We signing out. Everybody enjoy your weekend. Peace. Yeah, peace.